Hi guys, Steph here, and today we've got yet another lovely, handsome fountain pen. As it says on the description, what we've got for you today is a beautiful The Conway Stewart number 27 fountain pen. Now, the number 27 fountain pen in the Conway Stewart range of the period, they made them in many, many different colours, um, some very desirable hatch patterns, some very, very desirable patterns such as the Tiger Eye, etc. In fact, I think I've actually done a video on a 27 in a hatch pattern, so what I'll do at the end of the video, I'll leave you a link there, you can go and have a look at that. But as I say, the, the 27 came in numerous different colours. As you can see here, we've got a superb example of a lovely classic black 27 with gold filled trim. Now, the number 27, it's actually quite a large, nice, chunky pen. The pen capped is around about 129 millimeters capped. Around the barrel, it's a nice chunky, around about 11.5 millimeters in diameter. So it is a lovely sized fountain pen. As we said a little bit earlier, it comes with gold filled trim. You can see we've got this gold filled Conway Stewart lever here. If we take you up to the cap, you'll see it's got this quite a large gold filled cap band and you can see there the very recognisable Conway Stewart clip. Okay, now just while we're on the clip here, as I say, these the Conway Stewart came in two versions. The earlier one, which is this one, is the Conway Stewart, and then the number 27 is on the second line, which we'll show you in a moment, and then later. They just simply called it the, well, they called it Conway Stewart with the number 27 on the same line. Now, the earlier versions had a slightly shorter, shorter cap clip, as you can see here. The later versions were slightly, slightly longer. To the very top there, you can see we've got this sort of peaked stud to the top. And that complements the end of the barrel there, which is also slightly peaked. As we've just mentioned with regards to the, the barrel imprint, take a look at that. A lovely clear barrel imprint. So the pen is in absolutely gorgeous condition. So in this particular instance, you can see it quite clearly says the Conway Stewart. And then if I move it up slightly, underneath there you can see it has number 27. Okay, so this, this barrel imprint is indicating that this is the earlier version. And then if we take you down towards the bottom of the barrel, you'll see to the bottom there, again nice and clearly, it says made in made in England okay so a lovely clear barrel imprint so as I say a superb Conway Stewart 27 the earlier version in beautiful classic black this is one of the pens from a Reese well from one of my recent pen holes I fully restored it we've put a brand new sack in the pen and what we're going to do is find a new home for this beautiful beautiful pen let's unscrew the cap for you there let's show you the pen in numerous different angles as I say a very nice handsome pen let's take you up to the section you can see it's got the Sort of recognisable Conway Stewart section from the period. 
and then if we show you the nib let's keep it nice and still we've got a lovely Conway Stewart 14 karat gold nib there's a sideways view for you and then if we show you the feed underneath there you go a lovely sort of plain plain Conway Stewart feed again from that period you can see everything has been cleaned in stunning lovely condition so a lovely size pen even with my large hands it's still a nice comfortable pen to hold and to write with now again because I've put a new sack in the pen I'm not going to fill the pen I'm going to leave that pleasure to the new owner whether they decide to fill the pen and actually use it or some people do prefer to put their pens in a display and admire them so what we'll do we'll simply do a dip test let's dip it in the ink and let's see how the pen writes so we've got the Conway Stewart and as we said in this particular instance the number is on the second line made in England let's give it a lovely another dip it's writing very nicely and it's writing with a fine a fine line they're not actually renowned for having any flex so I wouldn't actually sort of advertise this pen as a flexy nib but quite a hard nib there's a slight slight variation but again it will not be sort of advertised as flex it's writing with a lovely fine line as you can see there a lovely lovely writer as you'd expect from a lovely pen like it so let's pop the cap back on we'll give it a clean after the video and there we have it as I say I think I've shown you a, a grey hatch one which I'll leave you the link but this one I think these black pens look absolutely stunning as I say classic black as you saw before lovely clear imprint gold fill trim with these large cap bands and the Conway Stewart clip as I say this one being the early version and the date I would say sort of early 1950s I believe the 27s went through to around 1960s but the earlier version this one early 1950s so let's find a lovely home for this gorgeous pen I hope you've enjoyed looking at it yes as much as i enjoy showing them to you people don't forget leave a comment down below don't be shy don't forget to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you will and don't forget people wherever you are around the world please stay safe but for now i'll just say bye bye for now